So we said, problems, time, space. Man or woman, when I say man includes woman, so don't be women's lib. When we say man and woman, they've always see, sought power, power over themselves, controlling themselves, which gives a certain sense of power in oneself. If you can completely control yourself, you understand? You feel very strong, a sense of power, or the power of a politician whom you have elected, or, like in the totalitarian states, they have assumed power. And power is one of the problems of man. You understand? And there is the other power, which is Clairvoyancy, reading thoughts, all that, so called the occult. You understand? So, are these two types of power physical, psychological power over another, the power that one com- the power that comes when this complete absolute control of oneself. And then there is the power, the hidden power, persuasive power, the power of propaganda, the power of authority. And those who are in authority are always seeking to entrench themselves more and more in power. Right? Why does man demand power? You understand? Why? Why do you want power over another? Wife or husband, the husband or the wife or the girl or the wife, and so on. Why? See, which is power means arrogance. Power implies vanity. I know you don't know. I am the boss and you're not. I am the acknowledged guru and you're a poor chap, you're a disciple down below. Why? Why do we accept this thing? Because that is destroying man, you follow? Because it, again, it emphasizes the me. The me, which is identified itself with the nation, with the group, with the country. And in that identification, I feel very strong. For all that follows, and man has never been able to solve this question of power. Which means, man doesn't know what it means to be to have humility. You understand? Because without humility, you can't investigate, you can't look. Without humility, you can't love another. Without humility, there is no compassion. 
The man who has power tries to be compassionate, tries to love. That's obvious nonsense. Like a man who is ambitious, he cannot love. So humility comes into being when you understand the nature of power. You, do, you can't cultivate humility. Then you, what you are cultivating is vanity under the cloak of humility. Right? So. And the same thing. Man now is one of the fashions of passing phase when we are talked about the occult, wanting to find out. The speaker, I'm sorry to bring my the speaker into this, knows quite a bit about all that. The part of the senses, if you are highly sensitive, you can almost read somebody. No? Of course. If you are sensitive to your boyfriend or your husband or your wife, you know exactly, almost quickly before she tells you something. Or he tells you something. And you can cultivate that, you follow? And have that peculiar power of reading people's thought. Which is, I, please, when I'm talking about, when the speaker is talking about this, he's talking what, of what he knows, what has happened to him. And we, I, the speaker considers all that childish. Absolute childishness. You may be able to read other people's thought. You may be able to do all kinds of non or rather extreme sensory perception. Extreme sensory perception. ESP. With all the business involved in it. If you are caught in that trap, walk out of it. Completely. It's the most dangerous trap. Because it's only the extension of highly sensitized senses. <laughs>